Hello my friends! Welcome to a special edition of Tammy Anderson Art. Look where I am! Oh, the water's pretty choppy because of Elsa and all that. And typically it's nice and calm and blue. At nighttime it calms down a little bit, but that's all right going to a really beautiful place tomorrow. I hope to show you guys that. Anyway, here is the house I'm staying in. See Erica from Artist Till Death over there swinging on the hammock. A couple of other artists that have joined us for this absolutely amazing retreat. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. All kinds of vegetation and fruits growing and absolutely amazing. I am truly blessed. That's my balcony up there. Let's see. So we have that house and that house all to ourselves the dock it's just absolutely gorgeous oops sorry so anyway i thought in celebration of being here in belize i would do a beautiful ocean pour so i hope you enjoy this video if you do please click like and please subscribe and I'll have another one out for you before I leave with some pictures of my vacation. I'll talk to you soon. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do today is show you how to do a simple resin ocean. Now, many of you have resin already because you coat your paintings. So this is just one other way of using that. Now these colorants that I am using are all from uh, Artists Till Death. You can go on their website. I will link it below. Uh, they are great products for resin art. This would be a tint I am using. And I will put the name, the color, and all of that information for you down below. So you can see it's really pigmented. You only need one or two drops to get the color that you want to achieve. So these are some MDF rounds that Erica from Artist Till Death brought on the trip. And uh, she sells those also. So mix up the colors that you want using either resin tints, resin art colors by Color Art. Those are another beautiful colorant you can use. You can use pastes. You can use acrylic paint. You can use spray paint. You can use all types of things to color resin. The minute I get home from vacation, I have four full tutorials on resin I am going to be uploading to my Resin It with Tammy A channel. The link for that channel is in the description. So if you really want to learn how to do resin art, click that link and go over and subscribe and make sure the notifications are turned on. So what I've done here is I've put my colors down in order, darkest at the top, medium in the middle, lightest on the bottom, and then some clear underneath that. I am now taking my white and I'm just pulling it through the, the resin that's on the board. These are going to be my waves. I now have some clear resin. And what I'm doing with that is I'm pouring it directly on top of the white. What it does is it pushes it down and it creates some special effects when you blow out your waves. Now when I blow out my waves, I don't pay attention to the water because what I do when moving my waves around is I'm actually also blending in those blues that are my water. So you're gonna see at the end here, how nice it all blends together. So you're gonna push up 
on your wave and then push down with the heat. Push up and push down to just design it into the shape that you want it to be. Now I'm adding in a little more darker teal color. Again, I will list the names of those colors in the description and a little more white for a little more waves. And then I will pour a little more clear on top of the white. Just a thin little line of clear is all you need. And then I will blow it out again, let it sit until the next day. And then I will come in and do a second layer. One other thing I decided to do on this piece was pull down some of that clear that was on the bottom portion of the board and add a little bit of sand. So what I'm going to do is let you watch the rest of this until I get to the second layer. So now I'm repeating exactly what I did yesterday, but with a little less of that tint that I used. So I just made the colors a little less lighter by adding less of the tint, but they were the same colors. And I'm adding it again in the same order. Dark at the top, medium in the, in the center, lightest on the bottom of that, and then clear down by the shoreline adding in the white waves again, and then adding white over the top of the white waves. And then I will again blow it out. And just so you know, I did pour clear resin over the sand area. So the entire board is covered. By the way, do you see who I'm using for a heat gun because I didn't have one in Belize? Yes, that is none other than Miss Flo. Uh, Flo is my blow dryer for Dutch pours, but because she only has a hot setting, kind of like me, <laughs> uh, I let it heat up really good and it worked absolutely fantastic as a heat gun. So here it is. Pay attention to the depth. You can just see the wave under wave and the movement is just so realistic looking. I uh, really like doing these. Now, if I was at home, I would have done two more layers just like you saw me do. You know, wait 24 hours, do another layer, wait 24 hours, do another layer. It just creates so much movement in the piece. So. That's it though for here because I do have to get it home. And it's almost time to leave. So I want to thank you for joining me. Don't forget to check out this, the description. I'm going to put in detail everything you saw in this video, all about artists to death and how to follow them, and also uh, the products that I used. I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for watching my channel and just being so supportive. I love you all and happy pouring.